Guys, let's talk Decentralandish again. Today I have something really special for you. I've been going through the Discord and I came across this post here by Doug from nftworld.io and he's pointing to a Google Chrome extension. I was wondering, what is this Google Chrome extension? And it's called NFT World Metaverse. So I did install this um, extension and it has a uh, selection of tools which are you know quite interesting some of those we actually have seen before like i'm going to show you the tool name swap i'm going to show you the icu tool i'm going to show you the notes tool and we quickly going to talk about this dao version that is accessible through this particular chrome extension now all of these tools also have separate urls that i will leave in the description but if you would like to um, you know, have this handy, have this available directly in your Chrome browser, you can ins install that extension here. It's called Metaverse by nftworld.io. All right, guys, so let's start with the Nodes module. Now, I think this is what someone was asking about in the Discord. Is there a way to check how many people are currently online? And the response was, hey, check out this site here. And by the way, there is an extension that goes with it. Now, honestly, I do not fully understand all the terminology used here. What I can see is that we do have a total count of users across all of the servers, across all of the realms, which is quite interesting actually, because it gives you an idea how, how unpopular the metaverse still is. I mean, 49 total users is not a whole lot. I mean, it's not a surprise. We do know that the world is quite empty a lot of the times, especially um, during non-peak hours. But I would be curious to come and check this number during an event, right? And what's interesting is that it seems that you can actually, I mean, sometimes when you when you are navigating the central end, at the end of the URL, you sometimes have this these different server extensions called Hermes, Zeus, Artemis, Fenrir, and so forth. And here you actually have the full selection of all the ones that exist, I believe. And uh, I think this could be actually um, kind of useful at times when you are doing an event stuck on a server with way too many people that you might jump off onto a parallel server, onto a parallel realm. I think this tool could come in handy. Um, yeah, so this is the dclnotes.io tool. Feel free to check it out. I'm sure you will discover more interesting stuff here than what I did on the first site. I think this is something useful to have. Um, very interesting. Um, I, I've never seen this tool before in the past nine months in the central end, right? Now let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the name switch, name swap tool. This is something that I wanted to show you for a long time. Basically, this is a very basic tool where if you are in a situation that you have two different names in your Ethereum wallet and you would like to actually switch from your current name to another name, apparently you can do this with this tool. Unfortunately, today I only have my own name in my wallet, so there is no way for me to try it out. And I'm not sure I would try it out without actually needing to do so. But I think when you purchase a new name and you would like to actually start using it instead of your old name, you can just come here, log in with your wallet and then swap this name for another one. I think this is a very useful tool. It's also accessible via the extension. It's here at the bottom, name swap but I will also leave you the direct link in the description so that you can access this tool and save it in your bookmarks. Next, let's quickly cover the Aragon tool here. I'm not fully familiar with this tool, but I've had a look at it before, and it seems to be the backend for the DAO system that we have on the site. Now, our DAO system is a simplified UI for regular users with just the absolute necessary only. But the actual backend, and don't quote me on that, but I think it seems to be logical. The actual backend is this Aragon governance system that you potentially could also have access to. And maybe this is something some of the, you know, 
Um, some of some of the guys maybe want to make a deep dive into this tool and figure it out, and maybe sometime come on a call with me and explain this tool to us how it works and what you can do here. But I just want to show you the stuff that I have discovered. Um, I'm curious, like, what's the benefit of? I mean, it, it seems like a lot of the stuff is probably going to be the same stuff that we see on the regular DAO front end. Maybe it's been cleaned up somehow, but maybe it's also not related. Now, I would love to know in the comment section if anyone could like, explain what's going on here between this particular tool here and the actual DAO and what the connection is. I would really appreciate some kind of comment if there's anybody out there who knows how this stuff works. In any case, I will leave you guys the URL in the description as well. And now let's get to the you know most visual component of this video. And we've talked about this several times before. Before this is a map that someone put forward, I think a couple of months ago, and it is actually a 3D map of the central land, and it's colorful and it's really cool. And you can actually go and find your building, your neighborhood, and see you know, how populated your area is and how the central land grows over time. I think we were all very excited about that, but then over time, we kind of let it go and we forgot about it, but it actually, it, it is still there. And I've just checked on my building and it's actually right here. This is so cute. It's actually right here. And the funny thing is that I just updated it yesterday to a bluish color, which I have changed today again but it actually picked up on that change. So maybe the updates on that tool are more frequent now. I don't know. But, you know, just as a reminder, if, uh, if, if you have forgotten that we have that, I think this is going to be a cool tool for us to use in a couple of videos going forward to just analyze what is going on in the central end. I think I will be coming back to that tool. This tool is also accessible via the extension, of course. Um, I think I'm going to keep that extension. It's it's a nice like, collection. And actually, it has this really interesting drop-down with all of the possible realms that you could access with all the different combinations. I had no idea there are so many. So, you know, maybe this is going to come in useful for some of you guys. All right, I think this is it already for this video. Guys, um, please do hit the thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. I think this is a possibility for us to reach out to other people who might who may not yet know about Decentraland and make them interested in, in this virtual world. I would appreciate any kind of promotion, any kind of sharing, but specifically, I would like to get a like and a subscription to the channel if you haven't done so already. All right, guys, have a, have a nice day. Thank you for taking the time and I see you in the next video. Bye.